Hi there, folks. Usually, around this time of year, we have a good old party at St. Matthew's called Fasnacht. And this year, we're gonna try something a little bit different, obviously, because of the circumstances. We can't have quite the party that we normally do. Um, but I wanna share with you a little bit of history about Fasnacht, and then, you know, we can talk about what are some of the ideas? What are some of the things we can do to celebrate Fasnacht in our homes and with one another this year? So, this period of like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday um, is called Shrove Tide. Those few days that are leading up to Ash Wednesday. And it's a time of confession, but it's also a time of celebration before the beginning of Lent. Again, which starts on Wednesday, Ash Wednesday, right? So Tuesday is called Shrove Tuesday or Fat Tuesday. And in German, Fat Tuesday night is called Fasnacht. See why I'm wearing my hat? Yeah, this is my cool Bavarian hat. Um, so the word Fasnacht comes from the German word Fasen, which means to go without eating food or to fast. And Nacht is the German word for night. So put the two together, Fasnacht. Now Lent is a time of fasting. We usually fast from something or we bring something into our lives to help us connect with God. We, we commit, there's some sort of commitment there. And the Shrove Tide is a period of preparation before that fast begins. So Fasnacht means the night before the fast. Now sometimes the German word Fasching is used to describe the Shrove Tuesday celebration. That word comes from the old German word Fasen which means to act silly or foolish. That leads us to our next German word for Fasnacht, which is Karneval. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I hope I am. <laughs> um, but that comes from the Latin word Carnival, right? Sound, pr sounds pretty familiar, doesn't it? The word is said to come from the Latin expression carne levare, which means remove meat or farewell to meat. Like the word Fasnacht, it signifies this coming fast that we're gonna be going into. The word carne can also be translated as flesh. So you get this farewell to the flesh, a phrase embraced by certain carnival celebrants to embolden the festival's carefree spirit. Fasnacht or carnival is a time of great celebrations during the Shrovetide week before Lent. There are many celebrations and there's parades and people get, get dressed up in funny costumes. So I think, I think I need to get dressed up. What do you think? I'm gonna take off my cool German hat. We're gonna switch it out for, I have, we have, I have sequins or um, I have green or I have this cool rainbow hat. I think I'm gonna stick with this one, right? And we have fun things that we can get dressed up in that make us look silly and goofy and all sorts of things. I think I have, I have my cool sequin jacket that I like to wear. Uh, it's pretty fun in my opinion. And I got my sequin like wrist gloves. Let's see here. You know, I got my gloves. Yes, these are old dance costumes. Don't judge me. I kept them. They're great. When you get dressed up like this, whether you call it Fosnacht, Carnival, or even Mardi Gras, right? We're all pretty much celebrating the same thing here. We're doing the same thing. We're engaging in the same practice of getting this silliness out. We're preparing ourselves for Lent. Now, sometimes people will make pancakes. They'll have a big pancake dinner at their churches or in their homes um, to get ready for Lent as well. That's a, sometimes a Shrove Tuesday practice. The point of this is to clean out all the sugar and fat and all these things um, from the pantry to get ready for the Lenten fast that is about to begin. Now, we don't make pancakes, but did you know that the word Fasnacht is also the word for a donut? So the donut that um, we would create, is kinda, it's kinda like pancakes in a way. You're getting rid of like all of this, this um, you're using like fat and oil, uh, like butter and everything to make these donuts. So you're cleaning out your pantry in just the same way that you would be making pancakes. Now perhaps the silliness of a Fasnacht celebration has uh, a more serious meaning. 
During Lent, we will think about this amazing gift of God's grace that we receive from God through the, the suffering, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And the whole story may seem kind of crazy by our worldly standards. The Christmas, Lenten, and Easter, um, Easter story describes how God lowered himself to earth in his human form, in the form of Jesus, and then gave himself up as a sacrifice for us. Everything is turned on its head in the story of Jesus, in the stories that we get from the Bible, in God's story. Everything is inverted. The weak become strong, the meek are low, or the, <laughs> the meek and lowly are raised, and all of us sinners are made clean through Jesus' actions. So Fasnacht celebrations, as crazy as they are, they may be a kind of illustration. These ideas in a literal form. That's an interesting thing to think about. Everything is inverted. People act silly, children act like adults, adults maybe act like children, and everyone in the community is just together having fun and celebrating the diversity of God's community. That's kind of the goal, isn't it? Now we usually have this big celebration at St. Matthew's to celebrate Fasnacht, right? That's the whole point of this video. But this year, we want to invite you to do something a little different. We want to invite you to celebrate Fasnacht in your own homes. We want you to have a karaoke party or play some games on Zoom and just be a little silly. Dress up in goofy outfits and just have some fun. Laugh. We all need a little bit of laughter right now, a little bit of goofiness and silliness in our lives. So we want to invite you to do that and maybe have a pancake dinner in your house or try to make some Fosnox. I'm going to make some and uh, I'll have a link to the recipe uh, attached to this video, but also um, stick around with the end of the video and you'll see how they're made. Thanks. I don't have the best kitchen for doing a cooking tutorial, but we're going to give it a shot here, folks. So, in order to make your pan, or in order to make your fosnachs, your donuts, rather, um, we, you're going to need your flour, some sugar, milk, butter, I got butter there, you can't really see it, um, eggs, nutmeg, and salt, of course, you can't bake without your salt. Uh, oh, and you're going to need a package of yeast, depending on how many Fosnox you want to make. I divided the uh, recipe in half because guess what? It's just me and I don't need that many donuts. So, um, all right, let's get started. they taste because they came out pretty well. Some of them like really fluffed up a lot. Oh my goodness. You have to do this. You can put powdered sugar on it. The recipe says dip it in molasses or maybe um, cinnamon sugar, whatever works for you. These are pretty amazing. I recommend it. Happy Fastnacht everybody.